The process of producing the biogas in a form that is suitable for the vehicle is very simple. We use uh, a technology called pressure swing absorption and that principally takes the two key components that are present in biogas, the methane and carbon dioxide, and, and splits those two components. And it's the methane that we're interested in. We take that methane gas and we compress it so that it's ready for being introduced into the vehicle. The process itself, the microorganisms need around 15 to 20 days, sometimes longer, to, to work. And provided the temperature is operating at around 35 degrees, uh, that is seen to be the most ideal and optimum to produce the maximum amount of biogas. The cleanup of the gas to run a vehicle is, is a very serious trial for us, which we're running over a six month period of time. And if that trial is successful, there's absolutely no reason why we should not start looking at converting the rest of our fleet. We have over 300 vehicles in our fleet. We run a number of trucks and our ability to use the biogas to displace uh, fossil fuels is something that we believe is certainly possible. Uh, we're two months into the trial and the results have been uh, exceptionally good. This is really the clever bit where the gas is actually introduced through this manifold arrangement. We have an engine management system and a valving arrangement that introduces the gas into the vehicle at a predetermined rate. And round the back, um, we will see how the gas is actually introduced through this arrangement here. So the gas is introduced through that pipe, uh, pipe work arrangement and the gas is stored at 200 PSI through those two tank arrangements that we have in the boot of the vehicle. Refueling of the car is incredibly simple. We have two refueling points on the vehicle, one at the back of the vehicle and one within, with, within the front of the vehicle. And it's principally not too dissimilar to fueling your car with petrol or diesel. The car has no obnoxious odours, contrary to belief or what one might think. The methane itself, when it's combusted within the engine, produces, uh, for all intents and purposes, an odourless exhaust fuel.